Welcome to CATTECH, your AutoCAD tutorial made simple. For today's tutorial, we will learn about Polar Array command. As you see on my workspace, I already attached the image that we will be using for our drawing. If you want to learn the attach command, kindly visit my previous tutorial about how to draw a lines with angle. Let's now start our drawing by typing in the unit command, units, enter. The precision is 0, 0.00 and then unit to scale is millimeters and then press OK. Let's start. Type C for circle command or you can just... Uh, Click the icons in your ribbon. So, click anywhere in your screen. Type D for the diameter. So, the small circle inside is measured 25. The next circle is 45. D. Enter 45. The third circle is 77. Next circle, radius 73, just type 73, and then diameter 184, circle again, D, enter, 184, enter. Now we will create vertical and horizontal line using the quadrant of the biggest circle. This will going to be our guide for the rest of our drawing. Now, we would be um, drawing, we will create another line here with the angles of 30 degrees. So, we need the assistance of our UCS icon. So, again, move your mouse or cursor to the UCS icon, right click, three point. Let's zoom in by scrolling the scroll key in your mouse the x falls in this one and then the y is down now line and then let's look for 30 degrees and then click so let's check if that's correct go to measure angle so it's 30 escape for this part here, we will just offset the 30 degrees angle line. So the measurement for this one is found here, 6x by 13. So type offset or just click this icon. You need to type the measurement. So both sides, so 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. Enter. So select this line up and then down. Now we need a circle again. So the this circle falls on the one, two, three. So one, two, three. So this one, this is our midpoint or center point going to the end point. Let's trim the line that we don't need anymore. And then erase, pencil, erase, and then enter. Now this one, we will polar array these lines. So go to array, click the arrow, polar array. So the center of our axis is this, this one, just click it. So 6, if you will count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the items is 6. So just type 6 and then enter so now for the next circle this part for this part what we're gonna do is we will create another circle with a diameter of 64 so the center line is perpendicular or intersect this circle 184 so type C click here D for diameter and then type 64. 
Now, trim. Type trim or just click this icon. And then, let's erase. Oops. Okay, let me paste that. Let's erase this one. Delete. Let's try trimming again this part. If you cannot trim this part, what you need to do is to explode it. So just type explode. And then enter. And then now you can trim those lines. And then what we need to do is this one, we need to, um, to array this polar array. So again, go to array. So it's already in the polar array. Center point is our axis of rotation. It's six, item is six, and then press enter. So three. And then for the last part, we'll be making this 6.5 by 3.5 keyway. So it is called keyway. So the length, the height is 6.5 and the length is 3.25. So click this one, the line, type line command. So going up is 3.25 and then... So the, the object snap tracking is not showing the green one, the green line. So if the object snap tracking is difficult to, to be seen in your workspace, you can press ortho, this one, or F8. So the lines will be straight horizontally and vertically. So let's type the length of 6.5 That's what is shown in our drawing and then press enter. Sorry, it's here. So let's click this line and then move it with the, the displacement is the center or the midpoint of the line. Now let's create a straight line and we will just trim those lines. Trim. Let's also trim this part. So now, the next thing we do is to trim also this circle. Let's trim it. Oops. Okay. Let's delete this one. I've already teach you from our previous tutorial how to load a center line. So we will be using it again. So go to properties, line, load, center, okay, and then press okay. Select the lines that we need to convert into center line. So and then now we need to scale this center line so it will be visible in our workspace to do that click this line should be in color blue right click and then look for properties let's change the line type scale maybe 0.5 oh. uh, two. let's make it 10 and then type MA or match properties. We will match the properties of this line to this line and the rest of the line. Press enter. So we are on, we create our drawing on the model space. We will now uh, ship to 
paper space or layout. So to do that, click this layout. This is how your drawings look on the paper space. So double click inside the box. So this is your drawing. As you can see, the uh, center line is not visible. So what you need to do is you type RE and then press enter. If it's still not visible, it means the lines are too big to be viewed on the paper. So click outside the square. Let's go back to our model. Let's change the scale of this line. Change it to 1. Let's go back to 1. Escape. So it's now visible. So for this line, we will make it smaller, 0.5. Then let's go back to layout. And you can see that the center line is already visible. So this uh, dashed line that you see on the paper is your printer margin. So anything outside of this line will not be printed. So how do you know what paper size are you using? Simply by moving the cursor to the layout, right-click it, and then look for Page Setup Manager. And then the, a toolbar will be open. So you can see that the flat size or the paper size is 8.5 by 11 or a short band paper. If you want to change the layout of the paper, you just go to Modify. And you can look for the sizes that you want. And then press OK. So let's go back to model since we need to indicate the dimensions on our drawing. Dimension style. So last tutorial, I've teach you how to set your dimension. So, we already create our own uh, dimension name, but we cannot find it here. If you want to use uh, your previous dimension style, what you need to do is you need to open your previous file. So, in this case, I will open the previous file. So let's say this one, so it's already have a dimension. So I will just copy one dimension, go to edit, copy, and then go back to your drawings, edit again, and then paste. Okay, as you can see, our dimension is upside down because we did not return the X and Y to its origin. Let's go back to Word. And now, uh, you can delete it this uh, dimension already because if you click the dimension style my dimension uh, file name cut tech is already visible in our dimension style manager so before it was not right so now I copy the previous dimension so I have it here now so let's close it first let's erase this and then go back to dimension style so let's modify. So let's check if everything is according to our liking. If everything is okay, just press okay. Click again. Make sure it is highlighted, your preferred um, dimension style standard. Set current and then close. So now we will dimension our drawing. Let's use this annotation toolbar. We need a diameter. So there you go. Let's continue dimensioning each and each of the circle that we've drawn in our drawing. Now I'm done with dimensioning our circles what we need to do is to put a leader in this part of our drawing so you will use a leader you point your arrow there let's off our f8 so just turn off f8 or ortho and then type 
It's 6.5 by 3.25. You zoom in. So 6.5 by 2.25. So our text here is small because it does not belong to our dimension style. So what you need to do is you will just change the properties. So again, right click and then open the properties. And then let's change it manually. So the arrowhead is 4. Let's change the text height. You just scroll your mouse or you can just scroll this bar. Yeah. So text height, make it 4. Oh, sorry, not the width. So the arrowhead is 4. Text height is 5. And then uh, zoom in. Just click this arrow so you can move it a little bit further. There you go. So once you've completed with your dimension, let's move this a little bit. So once you're completed with your dimension, let's go to layout. Now, I've already created my title block. So, what I need to do is I need to insert. Enter. So, type command insert. If you already created your own title block, you can just insert it. And then, so it's bigger, no? So, what you need to do, you need to change the units for this one. Has to be in inches. And then press OK. Now let's drag this title block here. It fits now on our paper. You can adjust. So my title block has the uh, attributes here. So if you write the name, let's say card tech. What is our drawing name? Polar Array Command. And the date, 8-16-2022. And then press OK. It will automatically update your title block. So, I uh, will make a separate tutorial on how to, to do attributes in your title block. Let's move this up. If you have questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. And please do not forget to like and subscribe so you will be updated for our new video tutorial. Thank you and God bless.